All right, Shalom. It's the brother Isaiah from the GMS Raleigh, GMS North Carolina, North Carolina camp back from the Lord's will and the final lesson. Before we go any further, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors the apostles, the great millstone, are teaching us from the same truth according to the Bible well. And peace and blessings so afflict the nation of Israel, right? And I pray this lesson is edifying. Uh, I was, you know, you see what the the ISGPK or the UPK, whatever they prefer to call themselves, right? You know, at this point, uh, you know, just speaking on a as a man on a personal level, you know, nothing that Jake does nowadays really surprises me. You know, um... Yahweh Shai said here, just type this in, I was reading this earlier in the week, um, <coughs> this is, uh, Matthew's, yep, okay, and we'll start at Matthew 7, and, uh, I brought this out a little earlier in the week, I believe, I don't remember, but, uh, I remember reading this, this is, uh, Matthew 7, and then uh, we'll start at 15, it says, beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, right? And the sheep's clothing today, you know, is them flaunting as Israelites. Oh, yeah, we're Israelites. Yeah, we know, we know God is black, right? We know that Christ died only for black people. <laughs> you see, you know, they, they have this outward appearance of being, you know, meek and humble and here to serve the people, here to do good to the Lord's people. But inwardly, they are ravaging wolves, right? The inward man, you know, they're actually doing harm, you know, to the flock, right? Inwardly, you know, that's their true intentions and their true intentions is shown forth in their actions, Right, there's nothing powerful about not promoting the names of Yahweh by Shema Washai. There's nothing powerful, you know, about not going to the prophecies and bringing out the word of Yahweh by Shema Washai. The, the power is in the word. Verse 17 or verse 16 Ye shall know them by their fruits. Right? You shall know a tree, you shall know a man, right, by his fruits, by his actions. You know, the things that he is producing in the earth, bringing forth in the earth, how he carries himself, right? The words that uh, he, he speaks. Do men gather of thorns and figs of thistles? And absolutely not. No, you, you, you bring in the good fruit. <laughs> you know, you, you bring in you know, the things you know, of, of, of a substance of value. You know, you're not gathering uh, figs to, to put in the wine press, right? <coughs> it says, it, 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 it says, do you, it's like, a, uh, you know, figs, uh, I almost forgot what figs were. Figs are, uh, uh, it's kind of a sweet fruit, you know, very sweet, very good. You know, but Jake, you know, it says, do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? All right? It says in the OT, it says, can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from from uh, thistles? You know, because I believe grapes uh, come from the vine. Right? I forgot. I, 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 can't, I can't tell you how figs, you know, are, um, are cultivated. Right? But grapes come of the vine. They don't come of thorns, thorn bushes. Right? Every, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. Right? It says, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire, right? And eventually, these 
uh, Israelite groups, Yah by Shema Shai is going to hew them down. Right? They're going to be brought low. Right? And we're going to see that. You know, everyone's all uh, proud. Yeah, cool. You know, Jake is exercising and working out. Cool. But what about the doctrine? This is a doctrinal thing. Right? It is about true if for for truth's sake, you know uh, it says where wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them, you know uh it says uh by their fruits ye shall know them, right? so by their actions, by a man action, how he uh carries himself. This is, um, mm, that's not the one I wanted, but let's go here because really with all these guys who are not able to understand the truth of Yahweh by Shema Shai, all these men, you know, as Yahweh Shai told us here in, uh, with John the Baptist speaking, right, in, the. Uh, See Matthew 3 and 11, I indeed baptize you of water unto repentance, right? But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, right? So we're, the, the true believers of Yahweh by Shabbat Shai that can actually understand this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we're being baptized, you know, by, you know, uh, the spirit of truth, right? The understanding of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the understanding of these words, the understanding of sound doctrine, right? And we're being uh, purified, you know, as we go through, you know, as we're put in uh, uh, situations to exercise wisdom, to exercise knowledge, right? And when it's all said and done, you know, it's going to be a blessing that, you know, Yah by Shema Shai put us through the straight gate. You know, because when we read here in Matthew's uh, 13, verse 9, it says, Who's, who, who have ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came unto and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Right? So Yahweh Shai... <coughs> He said, who has the understanding? Who's been given this understanding to hear, to understand, right? Who's been given the secrets of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven? Who, understand how, who understands how important it is, right, to exalt the names of Yahweh by Shema Washai, to, uh, to deny yourself and to, and, to, and to bear the cross of the Lord? Let him hear. Right, because these trials that we're going through, as you see, you know, Jake is, uh, you know, hopping in something nice, you know, uh, seeking, you know, that's an inside joke. This dude, um, you know, because not everyone's uh, hip to what's going on in Israel, right? So you want to clarify what you're saying, right? Uh, you have this dude, Captain Tazariak. Um, well, that's how you say his name. You know, basically saying after YouTube is over, you know, he has something better. He has something else that he can do, right? He has this uh, great family, you know, with the wife and the kids. And, you know, he has uh, good success and worldly success. Where well, it is, those who have the ears to hear of what the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are, happy are they, right? Because they understand, you know what you should be doing during these times. And that's why you see the true men of the Lord bearing that good fruit. And and, 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 and men can come and eat of that fruit. The believers, the believers of Yahweh by Shema Shai can, can come and get replenished of that fruit. It says, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right? So, 
it, 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 it's good for us that we can understand the, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. You know, you see brothers, you know, when brothers get together and knock out some lessons. You know, you see smiles on brothers' faces. You know, we, and, and, and we're just going over the same scriptures we always go through. It's exciting, right? That we understand that we have the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven while the rest of the world is being, they have been blinded. They have been blinded with by, by the second, by the consolation prize that Esau Edom has offered them. Instant gratification, right? Verse second, uh, St. James 2 and 5, it says, <clears throat> Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs, right? And heir is a son who receives an inheritance, and heirs of the kingdom, right? Your sons, you know, uh, the, the 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 ones who will inherit the kingdom, right? The kingdom of Yahweh by Shema Shai, right? Those who are poor, you know, the the poor and needy, the afflicted, right? Those who are making the sacrifice because with this wisdom brothers can be anything uh you know we have the highest level of knowledge on the planet you know we're 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 the, we're Yashra, we're the sons of god you see but but brothers have sacrifice you know time you know careers right time with their uh, loved ones you know, all types of things have been sacrificed in 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 order to, to afford the ministry of Yah by Shema Shai. Right? And 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 so we're we're putting a priority over the Lord. We're not looking to get rich in this world. We're, we're rich in faith. Right? We're rich in the faith of Yah by Shema Shai. Right? We're rich knowing that Yah by Shema Shai is with us. That gives you true riches. You see? That gives you true value. Knowing that Yahweh by Shema Shai, understanding the truth that the Lord is on your side. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him? Right? And you love the Lord. By keeping his ways. And it's not only the laws. You know, I hate, you know, uh, you know, I hate when Jake says that, you know, it's just keep the laws, keep the laws. You know, we tell our people to keep the laws of Yahweh by Shema Shai. But you have to have faith, you know, and we'll, we'll close down on that. This is uh, St. John 3. And um, we'll start at verse... Um, I don't, I don't want to read too much into it. We'll read St. John 3 and uh, 18. Uh, mm, verse 16, it says, For Yahweh so loved the world, right? This this heavenly arrangement, right? This cosmos, right? This government, right? The government of Israel. For Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, that whosoever... Believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah, the Lord gave his son, you know, as an offering, you know, but Yahweh Shah was literally there in the flesh to, to set things all right, you know, to set things in order, you know, before he would go on the cross, you know, and be that sacrifice, you know, and he said, well, upon this rock will I build my church. Speaking about Peter, the head of the church, King David, right? And, 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 and it's being established. You know, uh, the Lord is reviving his works as in the days of old. You see the prophecies of Yahweh by Shema Shai speaking in the earth, right? We're, we're living in exciting times. It says, for Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, right? And, and, and Jake denies the son. Jake ain't acknowledging Yahweh Shai. And you watch this uh, IGPK, uh, you know, interview, whatever it is. Um, 
you know, I, you know, I can't really, you know, p- put the words to it. what, what kind of, it's like, it's like an insight. It's like a, it's like a spill, a news report, kind of like a Vice TV type of, type of, you know, type of thing. It's all edited and like that shit, you know, it's just corny to be honest. It says, he that, it says, but that the world through him might be saved. So you're saved. You enter into salvation via the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah and believing in that sacrifice. You know, believing, uh, understanding that you have access through your faith back to Yahweh Shemal Shai. It says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth is not is condemned already because he had not believed in the name of of the only begotten Son of the Most High. So here it is. You, you got IUIC. You know, you got a, a, a General uh, Bishop Nathaniel, right? I can't remember the other title, right? You got Bishop Nathaniel of the IUIC saying that we're not going to get the name, that the name is Christ. You know, which that is just a title, right? The, the Messiah, the Amashiach that will come, right? The Anointed One. The, the, the one chosen in the beginning by the Heavenly Father, right? To be his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That would, that would be a savior. That's what Yahweh Shai means. He saves, he delivers. Right? That that omen nomen. And, and that's the reputation that Yahweh Shai has in the heavens. To be the savior of, of Yasharallah. And here it is. Jake is even acknowledging, acknowledging the savior. He has a reputation in the heavens, Yahweh Shai, to, as being the savior of the nation of Israel. Yet Jake here on earth does not acknowledge that. It says, and this is a condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light. Men love this world. That that's why you, you see how Jake is moving. Jake is so corny. You know? And and I don't mean like Jake don't got no flavor or whatever it is, right? Yeah, Jake got their little style and little hip style doing things their own way and whatnot. But it's corny. You know, it is nothing to be uh, uh, um, admired. I don't wanna dress up and an army get up suit and, and do push up with the brothers. I want to get into the scriptures, right? The deep things of Yah by Shema Shai, the, the mysteries of knowing the Lord's name, right? That's that's where the true power is being able to trust in the Lord. You're having a testimony to share about how the, the God that created the heavens and the earth uh, intervened into the life of, of little old me, right? So it says Jake's, right? So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Israelites. Jake is short for Jacob, for those who didn't know. Uh, your works are evil, and you hate the light. It says, for every one that doeth evil, hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest their deeds should be reproved. Right? Because you come into the truth, you got to repent. And, and that's how you know... <laughs> These guys are not in the truth because they have not repented of the things that the light of Yahweh by Shema Shai is calling them out on. Right? But he that doeth truth comes to the light that his deeds may be made manifest they are that they are wrought in the most high. Right? The the deeds of those who trust in the Lord are being made manifest. And and there's nothing to, uh, right? You look at this word rot. It means to work, to labor, to do work, right? So what we're, it says exercise, perform. What we're performing are the works of Yahweh by Shema Shai. What we're exercising ourselves in are the things that please Yahweh by Shema Shai, right? So in that day, Lord's willing. And, and that's why we're rejoicing because, we have the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, right? We're, we're rejoicing that we know the Lord. 
Matthew 13 and 16 says, But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and for your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye have heard and have not heard them. You see, to, to see the, 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 the signs of Yahweh Shai's second coming, his, his return, man, you know, that's truly a blessing, you know, for us to truly understand this knowledge and this understanding and Jake don't got it, you know, and and, that, and that's on them, you know, at the end of the day, right? So Lord is willing to edify through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, you know, it's next time I'm going to say, Shalom.